Last week, considering that the Timberwolves had their first first round pick in four years, we decided that it was time to have an NBA draft party. So we gathered up some of our closest friends. We went down to our favorite watering hole and, uh, and we had the NBA draft party. I'm Johnny Voss and we're in front of the Target Center on a coolish June evening. Now by the time that you see this tape, you're already gonna know. The mystery is gone. You're gonna be disappointed or very, very happy. We don't, but right now, we are on the trail of what exactly the Minnesota Timberwolves are gonna do here on draft day. I'll tell you what, that's the war room. That's where, where they're making the decisions right now. Are they gonna make a trade? Are they gonna tap the European circuit? Are they gonna go with some young blue chipper? That's what we're here to find out, and boy, we are excited. I got my media guide, I got my sports page, I've got my French to English, uh, dictionary we're set stay with us we think we have found the answer to who the wolves are going to take in your opinion who are the minnesota timberwolves going to take tonight troy bell the wolves finally have a, a first round draft choice who do you think they're going to take well oh, definitely lebron james back in the day hockey was always going for the foreign boys but now we see that nba is becoming a global a global game what are your thoughts on that are you pro-american or or should we be tapping the european circuit um We've been beating the pavement all afternoon. Everybody's very hush-hush about exactly what the Timberwolves are going to do. So let's go inside of the refuge right now. We've got a pre-draft party awaiting us. Maybe we can find out the answers that we're looking for inside. Come on. All these people have been brought in for the draft. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. Now, single-handedly picked them out. Is that right? You're the Bucks fan? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I got to ask you, if you, you're a Badger fan too, can the Wolves do worse than Paul Grant this year? <laughs> I put a challenge right now to all Minnesota folks. Show us that you know something about the game, all right? When we ask you to who the Wolves are going to take, don't say LeBron James, all right? That is impossible. It is impossible. Now, with Peyton in exiting, will they not go after TJ Ford? Still got Cassell there, and they'll probably pick him a backup point guard in the second round. And you're happy with an alien head uh, leading, leading, being the general on the team? TJ Ford, there, yeah. did you see it? Did you see the grimace? What about Mache Lampe, the pole? I, He's I kind of know. the dark horse in this draft. I mean, they're gonna make some trades, they're gonna set themselves up, and in two years, the Knicks are gonna sign Kobe Doby Bryant. That's it, you heard it here. He will be a Nick. I heard they're gonna sign Rasho. <laughs> Uh, you got inside information. You're, you're employed by the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm pretty sure that the Wolves are going to wheel and deal. They're going to get themselves LeBron James. Not see, I think the organization is putting co-ed cheerleading to bed. Like last year was the last year. I don't know if we're going to get anyone good on the NBA draft, but this is news anyways. The experiment with male cheerleaders is done with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I got to tell you, I'm, I, I can't be happier right now. That's okay with me. We're fine. I'm here with one of the super fans. There's a rumor that this kid from Hawaii, who is a Canadian, which I know you like Canadians. Corey Koski. With the last name English. Now, how is that going to set with an Irish fan like yourself? Well, if, if the Wolves were to get a guy by the name of English, would you still support the Wolves? Well, yeah, I'll support the Wolves, even if they do take an Englishman. You know, that's their fault. I hear nothing I can do. Their mistakes are their mistakes. Anthony Peeler. Uh, their peso is worthless. All right. We're on the clock right now. The Argentinian just went. It's excitement in the I can't even speak right now. There's electricity it's in the, the air. Look at everyone is going nuts. Delfino! No, we didn't say Delfino. We didn't wait for party favors. Delfino! I'm not excited. Rick Ricker's still available. Who are we going for? Oh, You're on the clock. Rick Come on, Ricker. War room. No Rick Ricker. No, I was looking for Delfino. I thought Delfino. We're going on. We're going on. Come on, we're going on. We're on the clock right now. Who are the wolves gonna take? Me. <laughs> Name? Are you Argentinian? Barbosa didn't get picked. No, he did. No, he got yeah. picked number nine. No, Felix that's Barbosa. That's who's out there yet. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. Quiet. Mike, Mike to the screen. What? Go high 
The son of Goodwin and Elizabeth Eby. Most likely, he lived in the, the small city of Enugu, Nigeria, until his family came to the United States in Houston because of the political climate no. and in order to Refugee. offer the chil children a better education. Refugee. His given name, Duty, means life. It means life. Duty Eby will inject life into the Timberwolves. I believe he will. Johnny, come here. What do you? Who, who did you want? want? Who did Not you him. Want? Not. Him. He plays forward. He plays nothing because he will no longer play basketball. I can't. I, I, I can't even believe it. I don't even want to continue going on because I can't even believe. I mean, maybe. Hey, needle in the haystack. I'm at a loss because I never saw this coming. Never saw it coming. You know what his name means? Life. Life. Uh, yeah. But in the bizarro world, it means death. I'm sorry, we've been pronouncing his name wrong. Where's the it's it's Indy E.B. Indy E.B. I hope that we can look back on this and smile and go, you know what? We were idiots, but you know what? Judging my Wolves picks in the last five years, I've got to believe that we're not idiots. You know what? You know what? Happen. If he's still around with four picks left, you know they are going with the sentimental favorite, but that's too bad. Troy Bell has got guaranteed money, but Rickard's got nothing. That's right, man. Johnny Voss outside the Target Center. It's like returning to the scene of a crime, and you know what? I'm I'm looking over the over my notes, and I still don't understand exactly what what just went down. But apparently, we took a Nigerian boy who is only 18 years old and you know like like I say when, when we drafted Garnett you knew he was gonna be good this guy I don't know if he's good at washing cars much less the second round came around and there were only three picks left and the and the, and the Timberwolves decided to go with Rick Rickard of the University of Minnesota as a sympathy choice I I don't understand that uh, the excitement is gone the mystery is gone the joy is gone. I'm Johnny Voss outside the Target Center, signing off. Uh, even though it was, it was a, a disappointing night of sorts, you, you could see we were having a blast.